Hello and welcome. In this part of the tutorial, this is a two-part tutorial, we're going to build a wine bottle that's partially filled with liquid. In the second part, we're going to go ahead and finish the scene with some realistic plaster walls and a very realistic tile floor. So anyway, uh, let's get started with the bottle. We're going to drop a vertex object into the assembly room, which takes us into the modeling room. We want to use a, an oval object. All right, you click and drag. Keep the size down a little bit because we have a tall bottle we're working with. I'm going to up the resolution to 24. You can do that with the plus key also. All right, let's just move this around a little bit and start our extrusion. So we use dynamic extrusion. We want to round the bottom a little bit. Okay, and then we want nice straight walls, so I'm going to use the constraint, which is the control key on the PC and the command key on the Mac. We'll continue our extrusion. We'll do the neck. Got that a little bit small. Okay, use the constraint key again. Let's zoom in a little bit. Makes it a little easier to work on. Constraint. A little roundness on the top here. Delete. Empty that. We don't want a polygon up there. Okay, I'm going to go back to our reference view. So I'll go like this. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and pick a polygon. Let's go ahead and smooth it and see what we have here. Okay. Looks pretty good. So if we zoom in a little bit, you're going to notice there's a bulge right here. We can get rid of that quite easily by picking an edge, looping, we want to go up here to extract along. And we're going to extract to the middle. See how that straightened that out. I adjust it a little bit so the size of this polygon is pretty much equal to the size of that one. Gets it pretty much in the center. That looks good. Okay, the only other thing we need to do right now is to fill the bottom. Because when you extract from a disc or an oval, it leaves you with an empty bottom. So just pick an edge, loop, or model, fill polygon, or you can use the hotkey control F. So there we go, and now it's filled. And there's our basic bottle. Let's go back into the assembly room, have a look at it. Now at this point, what I like to do is to center my hot point. So using control alt H, I'm centered. Another little thing I do is I'm going to edit and send to origin. So that puts us right in the middle of our scene. I'm going to bring that up above that plane. Up here there's a little feature in Carrera 8. It's called collision detection. You click that on. Now when I bring that down, it'll stop on that plane. If you, sometimes when you go hard enough, it'll go through. In this case, it's stopping right where it needs to stop. So let's just do a quick render of that, see what we have. That's a nice bottle shape. Okay, back to the modeling room. Let's go ahead and select all. Let's give that a new shading domain. We're going to call this bottle. Okay. Now, let's go back out here. Let's go ahead and shade that. We're going to use a clear green shader. See how that looks. Now now we have a glass model. Simple as that. All right. But we don't have anything in it, and the bottle's a little bit thin. Looks a little bit more like plastic than glass, so we can take care of that here very easily. Okay, the first thing we want to do to get this thing filled is we have everything selected. Okay, so we're going to go to Model. Add thickness. We're going to add a thickness of 0 0.05. See that fatten up? We'll go ahead and render that right now so you can see what that does to it. See that? 
actually darkens it up because the glass is thicker. Okay, back into the modeling room. Now, with this part selected, that's only the outer part. See, on the inside, there's no selection. So if we go here to View, Hide Selection, now we see the inside shape. All right, at this point, just pick a poly. Or you can pick anything. And then uh, turn your smoothing down. Zero. All right, we'll take this top part. We're going to just get rid of it. Now we want to fill this back in. So we select and then Control F. We're filled it. While I have it selected, I'm just going to lower it down so our bottle is only partially full. All right. Now, if I were to smooth this right now, see, it sucks that in way, way too much. So let's turn that back off. The quick fix for that is to select an edge, loop, then we use a function up here called extract around. So we'll just do a quick extract there. Now when we smooth it, it stays in our cylinder shape. Okay, let's select everything. Okay, we're going to give this a shading domain. We're going to call this liquid. All right. Last thing we need to do at this point is to raise this up a bit. So we have a space between the outer bottle and the inner bottle, or the liquid. So it simulates that thickness in the bottom of the bottle. So let's go ahead and go back out. All right, so you can see it inside of there. All right, so let's take a top view. All right, and then we're going to drop in a clear red right in the middle. See how this this would do the bottle itself, and this is just going to do the liquid. So we're going to do our liquid. Let me render that. Now we have a filled bottle that really isn't quite that realistic yet. It's just the again the bottle's too thin. This line here it's because the liquid's actually the same level or outside of the glass so we don't want that so what we need to do real quickly fix that we can go to view we want to reveal everything and when you do that everything is marked see that i mean everything's selected so all you have to do is go to model we're going to add thickness again all right so let's do 0 0.05 one more time see it fattens up render And there you have it, a filled bottle. Got a nice soft edge there, thickness on the bottom. And that is all for part one. So I hope to see you in part two where we're going to complete it. We're going to do the plaster walls and the tile floor, a couple good tricks. And I'm going to do probably just one more thing to this bottle just to sell it. So anyway, uh, I hope to see you in part two, and I hope you learned something. Happy modeling.